Do you have plans to take out some baby teeth? Specifically, some baby canine teeth? Maybe, maybe. Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Okay, welcome back, it's me. Yes, let's talk about something muy importante. It is extraction of, specifically, baby canine teeth. So, today we're gonna talk about why, specifically, specifically, dental providers, orthodontists recommend extracting baby canine teeth and uh, show you some examples of the positive effects with by, by using some x-rays. So first off, here's some teeth, fake teeth of course, I'm not just holding somebody's mouth. No, that'd be cool. We're gonna talk about these permanent teeth right here, the permanent canines, okay? These are the top permanent canines. And then you have the bottom permanent canines, there, there, and there, right? A little sharp, check out these cuspids. Look at these cuspids. Those permanent teeth, all right? All the permanent teeth need to come into the mouth. Well, permanent canines, top and bottom, sometimes can deviate from course. I just made this up, but they can be called runaway canines. That means that in the normal development of those permanent teeth, they're supposed to start way up high on the top, and then they come down, they do like almost like a J-like, you know? They come in, they're, they're point, they kind of point towards the middle, towards the middle teeth right here, okay? All right, here's the middle teeth. And as they come in, they kind of point towards these and then they drop down into the places right here. So they point towards here and then whoop, drop down. On the bottom, same kind of thing. They come around from deep, deep down and they point towards the middle of those teeth. I'm trying to find where it's clear for you. Right there. Right here and then they come up like that. So they point towards the middle and then they come up. Well, sometimes they never get to that long part of the J where it goes straight down. Sometimes they never get to that part. Sometimes they just keep like going into the middle. Same thing on the bottom. Instead of instead of coming up, starting uh, coming up, they just see. Yeah. I understand. Well, I understand too. And they stay down. Here's some examples in these x-rays. Check it out. Look, runaway canine got out of control, wasn't managed when we were younger, or maybe it was attempted, but we're gonna assume that it wasn't managed and they just got away. You can see in a few of these x-rays, we got a, a baby, a, a permanent canine that's just laying flat. Like all the rest of the teeth have come in, you see on this x-ray, and it's just hanging out there on the bottom. That got way out of control. Out of control. Uh, sometimes canines can run away and they either go to sleep and they don't cause any problems, they become impacted, right? They're stuck, we have another video about that, check it out, how to deal with it once it's there. And then sometimes you can get what we call root resorption. That's probably the most unfortunate risk of runaway canines is that they, instead of going and down to their like J motion here, they just keep traveling and they run into these teeth as you can see in two of these x-rays, right? They run into these teeth and the roots inside and they eat them up. It's called root resorption. Almost like what happens when they're supposed to push out the baby tooth. If you look at a baby canine, or any of the baby teeth, they get shorter and shorter and shorter, the roots do, as the permanent teeth get closer and closer to coming in because they're eating them up so that they can fall out. That's why your baby teeth fall out. Well, the same thing can happen to other permanent teeth by these runaway canines. And you can see, like I said, in these two examples where it ate up the tooth, and that's it's really unfortunate. Side note, just because you get eaten up doesn't mean that those that tooth is a goner, not necessarily. It could mean that you should get it out or extract it and you have to replace it with like an implant, but not necessarily, talk with your provider. So what can you do to try and avoid these runaway canines? One major option, create space. And usually you try to create that space when we're young so that the tooth, those runaway canines, have a chance to like self-correct naturally. Now, how do we create space? Well, one of the ways you can do it is by, the common way you can do expand We've talked about expanders before. You can check out that video, how to put it in, also the benefits of the expander. Or today, like we're talking about, is getting baby teeth out, extracting the baby canines. It has been proven or shown through research that an effective way to try to get spontaneous self-correction, meaning that the canines are going this way, and then you take out, you extract the baby canines, sometimes the associated baby teeth next to it, but we're just talking about the baby canines right now. Take those out, and then instead of going this way, they come back down. That's exactly what we want. So again, talk to your provider if they feel like that is a reasonable course for you. I'm gonna show you just a couple examples of how that has worked, and you kind of see the angle changes, right? We had one baby tooth on the bottom, excuse me, a permanent canine on the bottom, it was like slipping down like this, and so we made the decision, hey, we're gonna take out the baby canine and actually the, the baby tooth next to it. But, and what we're seeing is a slight improvement in the angle of the tooth eruption. So we're hoping that with time, it's gonna just keep 
following that J all the way up into place. It takes some time, three to six months, you probably should you know, watch and see what kind of changes you can get. Here's another example. On the top, right, you take out that baby canine and then those permanent canines look like they're starting to overlap the permanent lateral incisors and then after you take out those canines, the baby canines, it just kind of self-corrects. That's exactly what we want. We want to avoid having an impacted canine for two reasons. One, once it gets stuck, it is really hard to get it back into place. And sometimes you can avoid it by treating it early. If you, if you can catch it early, whether through some treatment like expanders or space creation by taking out baby teeth or some combination, it can save you those procedures and that time down the road. Once it starts to self-correct, then you just need to give it time and hopefully the rest of the teeth are still coming in and so it's perfect timing, it just comes in. It comes in. The other reason why we want to avoid those stuck canines, those impacted canines, the runaway canines is because of the damage that it potentially can cause. Does it always cause damage? No, as you can see, that one canine just on the bottom in this x-ray just, it's just sitting down there. We, by the way, we eventually decided to take that one out instead of trying to pull it in. So that person is one tooth less of what he should be, but that's because, you know what, it's all the way down there and it's gonna be really hard. They just didn't wanna do that. So you got a couple options that you can review with your provider. But again, I'm trying to emphasize that if you're young, if your child is young and there's a potential that you are getting a runaway canine, you might wanna consider extracting the baby teeth and hope for success, hope for this spontaneous correction. Maybe add on some other space creation methods to help out, little disclaimer, okay? It's not 100% guarantee that it works, but research shows that it gives it, it really improves the chances of spontaneous correction. Wow, I just, that was a lot. Hope you're doing okay out there. We're hanging in there. If you have any questions, or comments about your experience getting baby teeth out, you're like kind of like worried about it, or you know, and then you decide to do it, and then you got the correction, you're like, yay! Okay, share it below. Or if you have any questions about, well, we tried that and it didn't work, so what do we do now? Check out the impaction video that we've made. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and of course, consider subscribing to the channel so that I can continue to open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth, taking out some baby canines sometimes, and beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO, so you know where you're going. Pack or not.